you guys, so many people I talk to in coaching have had narcissistic mothers. There are different ways that narcissistic mothers behave. So this may not apply to everyone who had a toxic mom, okay? But there are some that are so jealous and have so much sense of ownership over their children that they will actively try to destroy all relationships that that child has with other people. Not only that, but they will try to make the child feel as if they are unsafe around other people and a lot of social anxiety for their child. Do you have a narcissistic mother? And did that narcissistic mother try to influence you to either not like, be afraid of, or have loyalty toward her versus others around other people in your life? Did she ever bad mouth or voice her dislike for or create a situation where you felt uncomfortable talking about someone who's in your life that you actually like or enjoy or feel safe with. For instance, did your narcissistic mother when you first started dating dislike the other person without even knowing them and point out ways in which you're unsafe or that person is not good for you or that person, you know, will destroy your life or whatever? create a negative narrative that you know better than to believe, but somehow can't get it out of your head. My name is Lise Colucci, and I am here to help you understand and heal from toxic relationships and toxic people in your life. Sometimes yeah. narcissistic mothers will even say things to their child that sound like a jealous girlfriend, especially when it is a mother and a son. So they might say things about other females like, do you like them better than me? Do you think that they are better at this, that, or the other than I am? Unwarranted. I'm not talking about the person is bragging about this other person and like going on and on and the mother's starting to feel insecure. I'm talking unwarranted without any reason behind it. Simply attack the other person through the child by creating a false loyalty toward the mother. Do you see what that does? A child already naturally, especially, you know, we can say sons and mothers, right? Like has a loyalty toward the mother. That's part of the problem when we're dealing with narcissistic mothers is that there is loyalty from the child, just innate loyalty that we have as humans toward our families and especially our mothers, okay? And when that mother takes that and manipulates with it, it starts to create a loyalty bind. Basically, even though a child can see through it sometimes, or as they grow and become teenagers and then into adulthood, they say, wow, my mom is really toxic. There's still that shame and that guilt and that nagging loyalty back toward that narcissistic mother because it's not healthy loyalty, which we all might feel toward our families, but it is an unhealthy, forced indoctrination of loyalty that was planted there by the kinds of words and the kinds of action the narcissistic mother had. So many narcissistic mothers see other females as competition. Instead of seeing them as allies or as other females that could be positive in their child's life, and allowing that child enough autonomy to form bonds and relationships with others, the narcissistic mother needs to hold their possessions close. And they do think of their children as an extension of themselves, as a possession, as something that is theirs to control. They may not think it with those words, but it is the gist of what's happening. So I want to ask you, this is not just something they do with their sons. It could literally be done to any child. And, and I'm curious if this is something that you have experienced your narcissistic mother doing with friends, with teachers, with other relatives, with maybe a stepmom, with maybe an aunt or a uh, cousin, or even another sibling, especially a female. Have you seen the jealousy? Have you seen her? turn on and turn against that other person in order to force your loyalty onto her, the narcissistic mom? If so, when you've grown up and when you're an adult, what is it created for you? Because I've heard a lot of things, everything from anger and rage 
to guilt, to shame, and this sickening sense of loyalty that doesn't feel natural, that feels forced and obligatory. I mean, even into adulthood, not just even with children, sometimes these narcissistic moms will force you, their child, to report back to them conversations, where you were, who you were with, what happened. Is that person better than me? And then well, turn on the person that you were with or that you are hanging out with or who you have in your life or in any new relationship. You know what I'm saying? This is sick and damaging thing, you guys. And it is something that we need to talk about so that we can work through how to let go of that loyalty bind that is attaching you to a narcissistic, toxic mom in an unhealthy way. Check out the information in the main description of every video for help with coaching, group coaching, or peer support. And I will see you guys next time.